In today's Leeds news, changes in EPL2 structure, transfer revenue for Farka, new contract for Wales skipper, hope on a Masengo deal, young boy defender is monitored, Bamford will stay at Leeds, and a rumour wrap up. Hey folks, Jay here at The View on the 25th of July with your Leeds United news, Wednesday morning. Hope everyone's having a really good week so far. It feels so quiet right now that something could potentially happen any minute. And there are some dominoes that look like they're starting to fall that might position Leeds for some moves. We'll get to that in a few minutes. Also, just a reminder, the competition to win a Leeds United shirt is still going on this month. It finishes in a couple of days' time. Um, all you got to do with, to be in with a chance of winning one of two Legion United shirts is to like the daily videos and subscribe to the channel, and that'll be enough. We just passed 14,000 subscribers, so massive thanks to everyone that's got involved in this as well to help with that. Um, and more details at the end of the video as well. So let's crack on again to the news, and we'll start off with changes to the EPL structure. And a couple of months ago, or last month, we gave some information around potential changes to the EPL structure. Leads have been promoted from EPL 2 Division 2 into EPL 2 Division 1. It's now changed. It's now just one big division. So I'll go, I'll go through this in a bit of detail. This is not straightforward and pretty complicated. It, it, why it needs to be this complicated, I don't know, but we'll get into it. And I'm, I'm basically, I'll go through it in some detail. From next season on, the EPL2 will consist of 26 Category 1 Academy sides. These teams will be divided into five pots based on their performances over the past three seasons. The fixtures will be then be determined by a draw, which will be made due to close performance in five seeded pods. There will be 20 match weeks. Each team will play 20 regular season matches, and then teams will play each other um, in their own seeded pots, as well as three to five games against clubs outside of those pots, their own pot. This will then generate a ranking table of 26 teams. And a playoff one-off eliminator tournament will start then from the top 16 teams. The top 12 sides then will be invited to take part in next season's Premier League International Cup competitions. Got it? Very straightforward, isn't it? That is overly complicated. Way overly complicated. Why not just have a 26-team league that everyone plays everyone? Seeding teams always is always designed to keep the bigger sides at the top nothing else it's a shame that they've, they've done that it's a real shame but it will mean one division so no relegation um for Leeds next season but they will have to compete in a, in a, in a very weird weird overly convoluted structure of a season next year but we, we'll get into that more as the season starts we move on some transfer stuff and finally Daniel Farkin might have some revenue to play around with but not what we thought uh according to um Kelsey McCarthy yesterday they broke a story that Elia Capria has completed his move from Barry to Napoli for in and around six to seven million euro. What they're saying in the in the outlet, Kelsey McCarthy, they're saying that Leeds have a fifty percent sell on clause in the player, which means Leeds will recoup anything between three and three and a half million euro for the player as well. Um, it's interesting though, Capril will not go into the Napoli side. He has been loaned out immediately to Serie A side Empoli, and um, so we'll go from Serie B side Barry onto Napoli's books and then straight out to Empoli. So he will go on loan and Farka will finally, finally get some revenue to start playing around with and hopefully give him something to start things moving with Leeds. Um, new contracts in the works and um, congratulations to Charlie Crew, who has signed his first pro deal at Leeds United. The under 21 player has impressed at Leeds last season and well, every year he's been at Leeds at different age groups. He's now signed his first pro contract, a two year deal to 2025. He's 17 years of age, so he can't sign more than two year contract. Archie Gray fell into the same bracket with this as well. So I'm sure there'll be another one after that as well. He did play 10 times last season for the under 21 side. And by all accounts, and uh, Jerry McDermott made this point when he was in the channel a while ago. Um, he made the point that he's highly rated at pretty much every level. He's been that Leeds expect an awful lot from him. He is a Wales underage captain as well. Very recently um, doing that as well. So congratulations to Charlie Crew and long may the contracts keep coming and, and fingers crossed we'll see a break into the first team over the next couple of years. Uh, in transfers in, according to the keep in France, Han Noah Misengo has turned down a move to Burnley and is considering other options. The player had doubts over his role. He wanted a considerable role in the side and was not going to be guaranteed that at Burnley and his playtime wasn't guaranteed either. As a result, he's decided to look around. Um, 
it does go on to state that Leeds are still holding a keen interest in the player who will be, in theory, a free transfer after finishing his contract at Bristol City. However, because of his age and the amount of time he spent at Bristol City, Leeds, or whoever gets the player, would have to pay compensation of in and around £300,000 for the player. And AS Monaco are also said to be keeping an eye on the player as well. So there is some interest outside of England in the player as well, who was on loan in France last year. Interesting one to keep an eye on. Would be a very good player, would suit Daniel Farkas' system. I think Lockie's done a video over when Lockie leads as well about the player or has something on the players worth checking out as well if you haven't already. But um, an interesting one to keep an eye on there as well. Um, this kind of falls more into the rumor bracket of separate out, but probably is just more of a rumor. But uh, according to the Mail Online, Leeds are keeping tabs on young boys defender Ariel Amenda. The uh, defender will be viewed, according to the Mail, as a replacement for Max Fober. However, Max Fober will be seen as an experienced defender for Leeds United, whereas Amenda, Amenda is a 19-year-old who has breakout season last year. He did finish the season as a regular in the Super League sides, uh, win in the Championship and Cup win as well, and is a Swiss under-21 international as well. But we very young player to bring in as a replacement for Max Fober. You've already got Diego Montero there, who's 19 and is expected to play with the under-21 side next year. This could be a move to bring a player in from the 21 side. It's it's a big jump again from the Swiss League to this. Um, but they were a top Swiss League side, so they do play you know European football as well. But it's an interesting one to keep an eye on there as well. Uh, the reason I included that is the mail had pretty much been on the money with a lot of stuff lately. So less of a pinch of salt than normal, but we're keeping an eye on anyway. Um, and then moving on to players that may stay at Leeds. And according to the Yorkshire Evening Post, Pat Bamford is expected to stay at Leeds United this summer. We've heard lots of rumours over the past couple of months about Bamford having interest in the, on the continent, other clubs in England that were interested in him, and then possibilities that he could stay at Leeds full stop. Well, it looks, according to Graham Smith, he said he's expected to stay at Leeds along with Jorginho Rutter and Matteo Joseph. Um, there is still concerns over Bamford's form as well as his injury history and whether he can play the style of football that... Daniel Farkas is looking to play Bamford and Pookie style strikers will be very different styles for, for Farkas style so uh, we'll have to wait and see said style way too much there but um, yeah you get the point Bamford could stay there's no offers on the table for him same with Melier same with Firpo there's a strong possibility a lot of these players who we think will automatically just leave could end up staying you know would it be worth having in the championship I don't know I'm not advocating for any of them staying by the way I'm just saying it's a possibility that they will stay so um, and then finally today we'll just I put these ones into a rumour wrap up because they're all a pinch of salt, to be fair. So we'll, we'll keep this as a regular thing of what we think are probably updates on things are are, are are likely to happen or likely to happen. But I'll give you some clarity on that now. So we'll start off with one. We'll start off with Sky Sports. And they're saying that Willie Nanto is not for sale, according to Leeds United. Tim Thornton was speaking on Sky Sports yesterday. And he said that Everton have had a bid knocked back for the player. And Leeds United are adamant that they want the player to stay this season. That is not a guarantee that Nanto will stay this season. Money talks. Can Everton come back with higher than 15 million? There is also rumoured interest from Italy as well earlier on the window that may materialise towards the back end of the transfer window. Remember, the transfer window this year doesn't close until the end of August and not the beginning of August. So, season kicks off in two weeks. Transfer window doesn't close for five. So, we've got a lot of time still to wait and see what happens there. But fingers crossed on that one as well. Uh, on the goalkeeping situation, this is a reading between the lines on this one. So, Carl Darrell have been heavily linked with a move to Leeds United. He also has been strongly linked with a move towards Bournemouth. A lot of people saying this week that the deal to Bournemouth was pretty much all done and dusted. Terms were agreed. But it's now come out um, that Bournemouth have agreed a deal with Inter goalkeeper Andre Radu, the Romanian goalkeeper, will come in on an initial one season loan to Bournemouth with an option to buy after that. That means potentially that the move from Carl, for Carl Darrow to go to Bournemouth could be off unless he's going in as a backup goalkeeper. That would give them three goalkeepers. Would Darrow go from being a second choice keeper at Newcastle to a third potentially choice keeper at Bournemouth? That remains to be seen. It could potentially open up um, the move to Leeds United for Carl Darrell as well. But again, that's the rumour mill. It's all rumour stuff right now. We have to wait and see what happens on that. And then finally, according to Dutch journalist Sander Van Sander, Sander de Vries, he is saying that Leeds are interested in Harvain right back Milan Van Evik. And um, what they've said about Evik is that Coventry have had two bids for the player rejected. They're still keen to bring the player in but Leeds United are now said to be interested in it as well that's in there as a rumour because it's a right back Cody Drama who looks like he's going to play this season from the start you've got Luke Gayling there as well overstocked and right back and if Sam Byram does manage to get a contract at Leeds United you've got an option there for right or left backs as well so do Leeds need a right back probably not so do I think that's real Probably not, but we have to wait and see. Um, I expect things to start moving at some point I keep saying this every day I know I do and now people are getting bored listening to me say this but 
has to happen at some point, doesn't it? Can't start the season with the squad that we have. It's not ready. So we'll have to wait and see. But um, that's going to be it for today. Remember, if you do want to win a Leeds United shirt, we're going to be doing the draw in a couple of days' time. Like the daily videos, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you do both because if you like the videos and you're not subscribed, you can't win. So that's the terms and conditions. So make sure you get on that as well. And um, we'll do a draw in a couple of days' time when the, the month is over. And then I'll contact people and I'll announce on the channel. I'll, I'll contact each pe person on the back end as well and arrange to get delivery to you guys as well directly. So that's going to be it for me today. Um, have a fantastic Wednesday and I will see you tomorrow for more Leeds news. Have a great day. Bye.